This uh, video tutorial is um, an introduction, an overview really, to Kidspiration, which is the sister product to Inspiration. Kidspiration is really designed for students in the year one, two, possibly three part of a school. Um, it has all the same features as um, Inspiration, so really um, all you need to know how to use Kidspiration can be learnt really from the Inspiration tutorials that um, I've already created. However, um, it's worth looking at Kidspiration because there are one or two things that um, uh, can be changed um, and you'll need to know how to use. So the first thing we're going to do is go into creating a picture and it starts up, it looks exactly the same as um, the other program in terms of its layout with the main difference really is that the icons look slightly different. So we've got our choices here of um, pictures that we can use for our bubbles and down the bottom here we've got a whole range of other um, uh, icons which do the same job as we've already looked at in Inspiration um, but <coughs> first thing I want to start off really is to look at this menu here, the teacher menu oh it's already enabled, un enable it when you start off um, in the teacher menu um, it's all greyed out um, and you need to enable the teacher menu so you click on that and uh, you get a message down here that says you can password protect this option which you probably need to do if there's anything you set up that you don't want the children to change click OK we come back into teacher menu here and now we've got some options all uh, available to us the first thing we need to go to is the application options now this is where you can change um, things that you need to learn what to do the first thing to take note of is by default Kidspiration actually um, enables this tool here which is the talking interface which is an exceedingly useful tool for students who are you know still emergent readers so every um, icon every um, action in Kidspiration um, uh, enables you to talk back uh, uh, is, is read for you basically um, and it enables the, the students to navigate their way around with a great deal of independence as a teacher using it, you'll find um, the, the, the voice um, activation element very irritating. And so the best thing to do is tick it off. So I've unchecked mine, but um, I'll ch tick it back on now um, and you'll be able to hear what Sam sounds like. Um, it's also down here that you can set your password. So if you want to password protect your um, teacher menu, you can set your password and you can enter it down here. Um, and then when you're happy with your password once you've entered it in and repeat it you click OK and um, that's then enabled obviously you need to remember that so I'm going to cancel this I'm not going to do it I'm going to uncheck that so um, <clears throat> you know that's the uh, and you need to have a look through here as well and have a look at all of those options but cancel that again in here um, using the teacher tool it enables us to add a hyperlink and hyperlinks are added um, we can change the text here to Google I'm going to put a link into Google click OK and so now we have a, um, a hyperlinked page here and we click on that and you'll see our um, browser open up jump straight to Google um, and that's how you set up I'll close that we don't need that anymore um, so well, what you want to do now is you want to add some more um, uh, bubbles and we can do that by simply clicking on here um, add another bubble click add another bubble and if we want to link to these bubbles again we can change the shape of them we can change the color of them in here um, we can change the background color with these these this tool down here um, but if you want to link them you again click on this link here and on the linking icon here and again you have to have the highlighted text click on the tool you want and click on there you can use the same tool down here to um, change the, the font change the font size etc 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 so just like in inspiration only slight differences to browse the libraries here let's just um, click on something here 
you um, have a load more um, libraries to use so we could use um, nations, we could use a flag, let's choose the flag of Bangladesh um, and we could uh, link to that, so link to Bangladesh and we can type in Bangladesh here um, if my memory's right, that's correct um, and so basically just like we had an inspiration you can create these maps and again like in um, inspiration you can actually make headings and subheadings it's clicked the subheading view you can see we've got Google as our central idea then we've got our three um, ideas here if you want to add another idea we can add another idea or if you want to add another idea down here click add down here now this ends up as a as a completely new bubble altogether and if we click back to um, the bubble view you can see we've got this separate bubble all by itself. If we click back onto the writing view, if we use this tool here, the arrow tool, watch how the the box comes into line as a subheading of the main Google idea. Jump back and that box that was all by itself is now being linked to the central Google idea. Um, this tool is probably the most useful tool for your students to use. If we had something like this, um, you can use the ear tool to click on a word that they possibly wouldn't be able to read um, and you'll hear Sam's voice. I'll click on this. Well, wait. That's Sam reading the word Bangladesh. So that's a good example of when um, you know you can put words in, any words in, and the um, the ear tool here can read back to the students exactly what it is that's being said in the um, in in the box. So you know it's you shouldn't let um, inability to read be an inhibitor to using this particular tool. Um, and that's that's really the overview of um, of Kidspiration really. Um, there are some goodies up here. We can change the background color, kind of minor minor things really. Sound, you can record a sound. So if we wanted to put something in here, we'll record a sound just like we did before. And so we click on here and I'm going to record a sound. It's me talking about how to add sound to bubbles. Click stop, click save. And if we go um, zooming in again, you can see this time we've got a, um, a speaker again which indicates there's a sound attached with that um, and so your students can actually record what they wanted to say um, as rather than type or write so it's good good stuff um, and you can save and let's go let's go here export again just like we did before you can click on export as a, as a picture um, as a JPEG or as a web page um, and just like kids, just like inspiration.